Hello everyone, welcome back. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. We've got another CGC unboxing. This is a Fast Track Modern Submission, uh, six books. This is a, a submission that I didn't make a prediction video for. So I'm going to kind of talk about what I thought these grades were going to be as they come out. Also, I've got the price data again. I know you guys liked that from the last video, so I'm going to do it again as, as, as far as what we paid for the books our cost for the grading and the uh, shipping, and then what we thought our profit or our negatives uh, turned out to be. So without further ado, let's bust into this box and let's take a look at what we got. The shipping on this has been fantastic. Look at that, tucked in between. So six books, three on each side, very nice. Okie doke, first one up, Incredible Hulk 340 classic Wolverine cover. Uh, this is a book that we got here at our local, local Honey Hole. Um, it definitely had some issues, some pretty big spine ticks. Uh, I was predicting something in the eights. Uh, I didn't think it really had a shot to get a nine. I was hoping it would at least get an eight. Um, let's see how we did. 8.5. Incredible Hulk 340, Marvel Comics, February 1988. Hulk vs. Wolverine, X-Men and the Leader Appearance. It's also a newsstand. So this book had a pretty significant uh, color-breaking spine tick, pretty significant stress line there. And I knew that right off the bat, it also it had some wear um, just around the edges. The corners were not super sharp, super, super crisp. I'm super happy with an 8.5. I didn't think it had a shot to get a 9. Um, price on this, so it's kind of weird as far as the price I paid for this because I got it with several books all together, probably estimated in around about $100 or so, um, and then with a $39 fee, so it's $15 added on to the $24 uh, just regular standard modern grading fee. I'm looking at like $139 investment and what the prices I'm seeing for an 8.5 is around 170. Now that was for the direct. So there's always going to be a little bit more of a premium from this time period for a newsstand. So this may be closer to 200, but just conservatively I'm I'm at that 170 range. So pretty good for that. Oh, doctor this is NYX number three. This is the first appearance of X-23, Laura Kenny. This is a book I've been wanting for a long time. Um, my grade prediction for this was a 9.4. And the reason being is the corners were crisp. Um, you know, it was flat, no spine, not, no spine roll. There was one significant uh, color breaking st stress line. So right off the bat, I mean, it was gonna be a 9.6 minimum. I thought that because of the, the size of it and it not being a small, I would say it's more of like a medium size stress line, I thought it was gonna be a 9.4. How'd we do? 9.4 white pages. This is a beautiful copy. NYX number three, Marvel Comics, February 2004. First appearance of X-23, Laura Kenny. Yeah, this, this book is nice. Uh, the bottom right corner is a little, um, I don't know, got a little bit of a color rub to it. And there I can see the color breaking spine stress line. Uh, this book pressed out nice. It's a thicker book. These books press out really well. Just a little bit of a shaker in there. No scratches on this case. This is a beautiful encapsulation. Super happy with that. Um, this was another one we got from the honey hole. I think all of these might be except one. Uh, price on this i'm estimating this at like 500 i spent on this with the 39 uh grading fee we're looking at 539 prices around this at a 9.4 i'm seeing 650 Br prices are coming down a little bit by the look of it because this this book in this grade a few months ago was probably in the 700s i mean people are willing to pay for this book this is a super valuable book print run is not really low. I think it's like close to like 15, 20,000. So they're out there, but 
I would recommend getting this while you can because this book may get out of hand price wise. Will not be selling that book unless I get a higher grade. Alrighty, this is Amazing Fantasy number one. Um, this is from that run. There's a bunch of first appearances in that in that run. The big um, the big book in this run is the first appearance of Amadeus Cho. Totally awesome Hulk is uh, very clean. I thought it was a nine point eight. How we do? Nine point six. Nine point six. Amazing see number one, Marvel Comics, August 2004, first appearance of Anya Carazon. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Fiona Avery story, Mark Brooks and Jamie Mendoza cover and art. I know nothing about this character. I just know that this was a hot book and um, this was, I thought, a 9.8 all day. And I was wrong. So that's a shame. Um, price on this book. Uh, I would say I spent like $10. This was like kind of a throw-in book. I got several other books from this run. Like I said, didn't get the big one, 15. But uh, this is a this is a pretty, pretty good book. Um, I don't know if I'll hold on to this or, or, or try to sell it. Uh, this is like one of those, the difference between a 9.8 and a 9.6 is like night and day. Um, pretty disappointed. So I'd say I got 10, buck, 10 bucks invested plus a 39 uh, to have it grading. So I'm in for like 49, 50 bucks. I'd say it's worth around 80 bucks right now. This book used last year was very hot, but it may pick up steam again. It may be just one I hold for a while. All right, three down. Three to go. Young Avengers number one. Marvel Comics, April 2005. This is the first appearance of the Young Avengers. Specifically, it's the first appearance of Kate Bishop, um, the new Hawkeye. So this is a big book. This book has taken a little bit of a dip. There should be two copies of this book inside here and I thought they were both nine eights. How'd we do? Nine point six. Nine point freaking six. Young Avengers number one. Marvel Comics, April 2005. First appearance of the Young Avengers Patriot, Iron Lad, Asgardian and Hulkling, and Kate Bishop. First Alan Heinberg comic work. Um this is a good cover. She's not on the cover, which is unfortunate. And it's also super unfortunate that this is not a 9.8. Alan Heinberg's story, Jim Chung, and John Dell cover and art. 9.6 white pages. Uh, this book has also taken a bit of a uh, price dive. Um, as far as price I paid for this. I think I got this book for like around $100 as well. This was in that big haul. If you haven't watched that video, check that out. It's pretty cool. Everything we were able to get at the at that local shop. Um, there's two copies of this in there. So I'm going to both I'm going to say both of them I paid 100 bucks for. Spoilers, I thought they were both 98. So we're 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 0 for 1 so far. So I'm uh, $139 investment. I'm seeing prices around $350. So, you know, having it encapsulated, having it graded, makes a huge difference here. Um, this is a good book. I'm, I'm definitely going to sell. Obviously, if the other one's a 9.8, I'm definitely going to sell the 9.6. But you know, I'm going to sell the lower of the two two copies and keep one. But uh, yeah, pretty good book. Next one up. Young Avengers number one. <laughs> Same old song and dance. I thought these books were identical. Like I, I thought they were both 9.8s. Um, I, I, I thought they got there. Let's see. 9.6, man. Same deal. First Kate Bishop. Man, these... The encapsulations on these are much better than our last submission, so I'm glad to see that because a couple of those had scratches. Um, neither of these are shakers, so twinsies. 
two copies. Um, yeah, same kind of deal. 350 bucks a piece. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Last but certainly not least, should be a Spider-Man book in here. We have got Web of Spider-Man number 32. Got this book when we went to uh, Savannah, Georgia. This was in one of those awesome shops. It was a wall book. Uh, thought this book was clean. Like thought it had like nine four, nine six, super high grade. How to look? Nine point oh. 9.0 Web of Spider-Man number 32 Marvel Comics November 1987 Craven and Vermin Vermin appearance J M Matthias De, De Matthias story with Mike Zeck and Bob McCloyd cover and art so this is a classic Mike Zeck um, cover I love this cover so this is part of the Craven's Last Hunt uh, storyline. Um, probably one of the most famous Spider-Man storylines and kind of one of the more darker ones. So I bought this book off the wall for $50. I know exactly how much I spent on it because I thought it looked that good. Um, 9.0 is pretty disappointing. Not going to lie. Pretty disappointing. Uh, $50 plus $39 uh, encapsulation and grading fee. You're looking at uh, a loss for me. Recent sales are looking around the $80 range in a 9.0. That's a real shame. Um, great, great cover. I love the tomb, the headstone on this. I always talk about this. It looks like the Super Nintendo controller every time I see that. Okay, so um, how did we do? Uh, we are looking at around a $1,055 uh, um, sorry, $1,035 investment plus the shipping charges. I've got it at like $1,077 uh, as far as our investment. And that's rough. That's a rough estimate. It may be a little bit more, it may be a little bit less because some of these, like I said, they, we bought them all together. And as far as if I sold all these today, I would expect to get around $1,680. So looking at this, I'm looking at, you know, Probably about a three hundred or six hundred dollar uh, profit, uh, roughly. Obviously, not selling all of these, and specifically not this book, NYX. I mean that that's staying with me. Probably going on the wall, to be honest. And then the Incredible Hulk three hundred and forty. This is a book I've been wanting to get this graded. I, I've been wanting to get this uh, slab, and now I have it in my collection. Super pumped. Guys, what do you think? Good books? Solid books? Decent books? What do you think? Has CGC absolutely tightened up their grading? I think absolutely. Guys, in the future, and I'm, I'm really considering this at this point, we are very likely going to crack 25 books um, that are 9.6s and resubmit them and see what happens. Because... I'm at the point now where I think what's happening is because I submitted these potential 9.8 candidates with books like this and books like this, I think all of these 9.6s if submitted in a box of 9.6s and 9.8s would both would all have come back 9.8s. Just my suspicion, but we will test our theory soon. I just have got to get the guts and the cash to crack 25 slabs and resubmit guys what do you think about that idea i hope you guys enjoyed this video if at any point in time you like this video give the thumbs up and if you like this video subscribe for more take care